next question comes in uh, from a couple. Uh, how can we discern if engagement is the right next step in our relationship? Well, one thing you could do, you get online and type in like the Catholic wedding promises, or vows or consent, the, the words that are used in, the, in the, the wedding rite. Take those to prayer and really start thinking, am I ready not just to say these promises to my spouse? Um, Am I ready to live these? Am I really ready to live these? You know, am I ready to receive this person fully? Or am I expecting this person to change? And really look at that. Like, is there stuff that you're just waiting for your fiance to change? Like, well, maybe marriage will deal with this. Look, if it's a deal breaker and you don't want this to endure in marriage, then don't move forward. You know, look, yeah, they're not perfect. But, you know, for the most part, if they still had these faults 10 years from now, we could still have a strong marriage. If that's the case, then okay. You know, everybody's got their imperfections. Also, is marriage reasonably within reach? And what I mean by that is I always say engagement is for people who are ready to get married, not for people who can't wait to get married. Avoid the two-year engagement, the year and a half engagement. Like, when are you getting married? I don't know, the next presidency. Like, uh-uh. No, it should be a short season in that relationship. Maybe six, nine months, I think 12 months tops. So is marriage reasonably within reach? And if you're like, well, check. Yeah, it is. Okay. Take a look at your finances also. Obviously, you don't need to have a six-figure job or whatever, but like, should you be blessed with children right from the outset? Are you ready to take care of them? Uh, you know, and obviously it doesn't mean you have to have all your student debt paid off or this or that, but do we have that foundation to begin married life together and a family right out of the gate if God blesses us in that way. Also take a look at the maturity level. Uh, everything is not, and I mentioned this last question, everything is not about chastity. And what I mean by that is sometimes we over-spiritualize the marital discernment process of thinking, well, we're on such the same page when it comes to chastity and spirituality. It's going to be a perfect marriage. So th those other factors we've got to take a look at. Like, is the maturity there? Like, can we disagree lovingly and respectfully? Do we know how to solve problems? Do we know how to deal with finances? And, and sometimes these questions are hard to see the answers to, but if you stay plugged into your family and your loved ones, they can often spot the red flags that fly under your radar. And so ask them, mom, dad, do you think we're ready? And they might say, yeah, I was wondering when you get, what you guys are waiting for, or in many respects you are, but here's some concerns we have. Have the humility to open up your heart to the guidance of the people that you love so that you're not just deciding on your own, you're having the humility to absorb the input from people who, who you love and respect. Take that all to prayer. Check out the wedding promises that you're going to make on that big day and see if you're ready to make the big dive. Now, hey there, I hope you enjoyed that little clip. But if you want to see the whole episode where this came from, just click the link here. And in the meantime, we want to invite you to help us share this message. And there's a couple things you can do real quick. Number one, if you like or comment or share this video, YouTube will actually show it to more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We release videos every single day and you'll be notified as soon as those come out. If you want to help us also to spread this message, you can support us at patreon.com slash Jason Everett. That helps us to create these videos and show them to the whole world. God bless.